I had to do this last part with the thing closed because this guy I'm pulling. It's, it's a state park, so they're pulling the area. And it was really cool because before I came here yesterday, it was really sunshine. It was, it was just amazing. And dandelions just covered that whole area, all the veg areas and stuff. And all the grass just covered in dandelions. It was like it was just yellow. And they came by and I'm like, oh, they're all gone. <laughs> Some people see weeds, I see beautiful flowers. <clears throat> That's what I'm the Empress Baby. But this is actually about the story that I just told you. One of the cool things about the story of Achilles and this fighting and this queen, there's actual, and this is, I wrote this story, it was just free flow. I started writing this, it was hard eight probably. Mostly, but it wasn't, it's hard to explain. It was just, I put myself in the, in the, it, how, how do you put this? I put myself in the position of somebody that lost somebody dear to them and, and a child. If, I, if you lost a woman and your a child at the same time, you would be devastated. And how would you deal with that? How would you do it? And, and unfortunately, and that's what, the premise of the story was was just this guy just wanted to get rid of the pain before it really set in, and he did just, you know, he he understood what it was like, and he'd seen it before in people and heartache and people that lose somebody they care about their spouse, and then they just decay away or whatever. And he just that was part of the premise of the story, and I just started writing it. it was free, like I said, it was it's funny because I gave the the little manuscript or whatever to to my buddy James, who I was you know, doing journalism with, so he's a really cool guy. <clears throat> and I trust his judgment. He's a writer, too. He's a crazy writer. I mean, like, he just throws out it. I just don't write that much. He's just, yeah. But, um, so he has it, and a lot of it's like chicken scratch, man. I, I can read it, cause, but I'm, it's coming, it's flowing so fast, the story, that I'm just literally just trying to get the words on the paper before the thought leaves my head. So, so a lot of pages are kind of like that, but but then I got to the to the part where Metatron is trying to explain to Alexander about his lineage and his parents and all that stuff. And and then that's when Achilles came and it just popped in my head. And I've, I've always thought Achilles is a badass warrior and he was that. That little Greek mythology. So I just thought, well, I'd twist it and see what I could do with it, right? And then that story just came about the fighting and all this other stuff. And... And then I was researching Achilles some more, just to kind of like do background work for the for the actual book, for the manuscript or whatever the hell it was that I was trying to write. And it turns out there's an actual. This is so cool. In the in the actual Iliad, in some parts of the Iliad, there's an actual. There's a side story. When the Greeks were attacking Troy and stuff, there's a side story about allies of Troy coming to join Troy in the battle against the Greeks. And one of them was a princess. Uh, she was a Amazon princess and she was a warrior. And she had heard about the Greeks attacking Troy, but before that had happened, this is where it gets interesting, is she had been hunting with her sisters. With They hunt spears. With their hunting stag or whatever the hell they're hunting. But they're hunting with spears. And she accidentally kills her sister, who she adores and loves, with a spear. So she's hunting with her sisters. And it's just their family, and they're out in the woods, and they're hunting, and she accidentally kills her sister. She wants to die. She's grief-stricken. She killed her sister on accident, but it was still, it's her sister. She loves her. So she's grief-stricken. And she wanted to end it, but she couldn't. She's a warrior. So she just decided to... Um, go to Troy and fight the Greeks and she would die in battle gloriously that way, right? And she brought along a lot of women, badasses with her. She brought along like a crew, like a 12 maidens, warrior maidens with her. Anyway, so they showed up and they were kicking ass. She was kicking ass. And Achilles ended up fighting her. He saw her kill one of the warriors that like really powerful and whatever. So Achilles sees this and he's like, okay, this is a badass. So Achilles wants to fight. This warrior, he doesn't realize it's a woman. 
this is the story in the Iliad before I even wrote it, my story. But like I said, mine was free flow. I didn't even realize the story existed. So he fights her. And there's two, there's different versions of the story. In one story, he kills her. In another version, he wounds her, but they, she survives and they end up falling in love and whatnot. But in the, in the one version, he kills her. They fight and he kills her. And then he goes to take off her helmet, you know, to see who this warrior is that fought him so well. And, it, and, he, and apparently, by the story, he falls in love with her instantly. Their face. He sees her face and he becomes grief stricken. Because he just killed this beautiful goddess warrior. And he just did not, he didn't realize it was a woman. So he's grief stricken. And I guess some Greek warriors were standing there and they laughed. One of them laughed at him for crying. For, he started weeping about it, right? So he, of course, he kills this guy. <laughs> he fucking dispatched that dude. But yeah, that's part of the story. That's And I looked that up and I was like, what the? Nothing to do with my story. I didn't even know that existed. That's why I'm bringing this up. Because it's a side note. I'm just like, I'm floored that, that, I, that I didn't know that existed. That he had actually fought, you know, that was just part of the Iliad, I guess. <clears throat> I like the part where they actually didn't kill her, but just wounded her and, you know, realized it was a woman. But yeah, either way, there was a love story in the Iliad with. So I just wanted to bring that up because that was kind of interesting. Side note, prologue or whatever this year. I'm going to call this. But yeah, he actually fought a woman and either one, in one story he fell in love, the other story he killed her and then was grief stricken because of her beauty and the fact that she's an amazing warrior and just didn't realize it was a woman. He probably wouldn't have killed her if he'd known. But anyway, cool. That's just want to throw that out. Love and light. Have a wonderful day. Hope you enjoyed the story.